Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain an example on Internet Protocol version 4. The example says that in an IP packet, the value of H length is 5 in hexadecimal and the value of the total length field is 0028 in hexadecimal. How many bytes of data are being carried by this packet? So in this numerical, we are provided with the H length field value in hexadecimal and the total field value in hexadecimal and we are supposed to determine the number of bytes which will be carried in the data part of the IP datagram. Now to solve such numericals you need to understand the structure of IP datagram and the IP header. The IP datagram has got header followed by data. The header is meant for carrying control information and addressing information and its size varies from 20 bytes to 60 bytes. The fixed size of IPv4 header is 20 bytes. It is mandatory because these 20 bytes cover the addressing information and the required control information. With options, the header size can be extended up to 60 bytes. The options can be 0 to 40 bytes. So, with options, the header size of IPv4 can be extended up to 60 bytes. Now, here the total length field is equal to header plus the data. The total length of the IP datagram is header size plus the data. And therefore, the data bytes will be equal to the total length minus the header size. Now, IPv4 header has got number of rows. In the mandatory size of IPv4 header, there should be 5 rows. Each row occupies 4 bytes because here each row covers 0 to 31 bits. That is total 32 bits and 32 bits means 4 bytes. So, in order to cover the fixed size of 20 bytes, the H length field should have minimum value of 5 in decimal or 5 in hexadecimal. And maximum value of H length field should be 15 in decimal or F in hexadecimal. So, that the maximum header size can be 60 bytes. Now, here we need to know the data bytes. So, for that we are provided with the header size and the total length field value. The H length field value and the total length field values are provided us provided to us to calculate the data bytes. Now, the H length value is given in hexadecimal as 5 and it does in decimal it will be 5. Thus, the header size or header length will be H length multiplied by 4 bytes because the header size is always in multiples of 4 bytes of the H length field. Therefore, the header length or header size will be equal to 5 multiplied by 4 bytes, that is 20 bytes. And we know that the fixed size of IP4 header is 20 bytes. So, in this case, there are no options in the IPv4 header because we are getting the header size as 20 bytes, which is the fixed size of IPv4 header. And the total length field value given to us is 0028 in hexadecimal. This converted to decimal becomes 40 decimal, that is 40 bytes. Now, we can easily calculate the total number of bytes which are carried in the data part because the bytes carried in the data part is equal to the total length minus the header length. So therefore, the data is equal to 40 bytes minus 20 bytes because 40 bytes are there in the total length field and uh, 20 bytes are there in the header size. Therefore, the data bytes are equal to 20 bytes in this case. So, 20 bytes of information is carried in the IP4 datagram in this case. So, this completes the example. Thank you.